This is BB Lake in upstate New York. BB Lake is wildly diverse. It carries mammals, reptiles, fish, amphibia, and birds. Not in the lake, obviously, in the trees around. This is a snapping turtle. They carry a long neck so they can bite pretty much everywhere around the shell. They also carry claws on their front and back flippers. The long tail is used both for stability and for steering. I'm going to replace this guy in the water now. It's only in summer that one of the orders of predators around here is revealed. As the sun rises and the air temperature goes up, damselflies take off from the surrounding reeds. Being smaller than dragonflies, they have a much higher surface area to volume ratio and warm up faster. Being cold-blooded, they can't fly until they're warm, which is why they're out earlier. Dragonflies and damselflies, however, share some similarities. They both spend most of their life here, underwater in the ponds and lakes of upstate New York, where they live as nymphs. The nymphs are shown here. Once they climb out, they leave a shell. The shell shows a dragonfly larva. Over here you can see the large eyes it uses to hunt, the jet escapers at the back, and here's the mask. The mask is one of the dragonfly's most powerful weapons. The nymphs have them attached under their chins, and the whole apparatus is rather like an arm. There are two jointed pieces attached to the hinge like an elbow, and on the end there are razor sharp jaws with a vice like grip. So, when fired, it shoots out, grasps the prey, and drags it back towards the dragonfly nymph for digestion. After between five and seven years underwater, the nymphs climb out vertically along any structure they can find, normally reeds. Once there, they emerge by splitting the back of the carapace open and leaving their wings to dry. Once dried, the dragonfly is a formidable aerial hunter. Most insects work out where the prey is, fly to that point, realize the prey is not there anymore, look around again, fly to that point, eventually catching up with their prey. Dragonflies work out where the prey is, the direction it's moving in, and the speed it's moving in, and plot a point to be where it will be in the future, making them much more efficient hunters. So there you have it, dragonflies.